Hi, I'm Amelia Smith with Sage Salon and Spa, and I'm here to show you a few different bun styles. For this clip, you will need hairpins or bobby pins, a hairband, and your comb. I'm going to show you about three. First one is the roll, and we're just simply going to use our fingers. I always like to use my fingers instead of a brush, especially if the hair's got curl in it, because if you brush it, it causes it to frizz. We're just going to take, section out Heather's hair here. And this is going to give more of that um, old Hollywood 1940s feel, something more like Gwen Stefani would wear. You're going to want to tease the top part a little bit, and that's going to give you something for that pin to hold onto. You take this section and you just roll it up. Grab your pin or your bobby pin, whatever you like, hair pin or bobby pin and just secure that. And you see how that gives sort of that, more of that rolled effect. So you would continue to do that around the head just by a little bit of teasing again. And then just roll it up onto itself. Pin it to secure it, spray it, and you're done. So that's one. Second one, I'm going to show you. We're going to start with a ponytail. Ponytail is the best foundation for all, basically all your updos. You're going to want to pull everything together. It doesn't have to be really tight or slick. It can be loose. Pull everything together. Again, use your fingers. I like to use my fingers instead of a brush. Grab some sort of um, rubber band. Pull the hair into the ponytail. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take sections of hair, smooth it out with your comb, twist them, and just pin them into place. And you're going to do that again all the way around until you get the desired effect. And you can even leave some hair hanging out. You know, it doesn't have to look perfect. More of The more undone it looks, I think the more women like it. I find I'm not doing as many really slick updos as I used to. You just twist it all the way around until you get the desired effect. And then you have another bun. Third bun, again, starts out with a ponytail as a base. This one is lower, and we would traditionally call this a chignon. Wrap the hair into the ponytail. Quick trick, you don't have to pull it all the way back through the second time around. Pull it, pull it down low, pin the sides. And you have your chignon. So that's three different bun styles that you can easily achieve at home.